G'day guys, Lead It Pros here from fstoplounge.com. Today I'm in beautiful Victoria again and you can see it's just, well it's almost a glass off here at this beautiful lake and I just wanted to share with you about composition because it can make a big difference to your photography and I, I see so many people struggle with this, especially when they're starting out. So what do you need to look for when you're actually composing your image? Well firstly, imagine your actual frame in third lines. So you've got two vertical third lines and two horizontal third lines. And when you're presented with a scene like this, what you want to do is set your scene up so the main element of that scene is sitting on a third line, so it's more pleasing to the eye. So in this case, for this scene in the video, you can see that I've lined up the horizon um, on the top third line, which is pleasing to the eye. And I've also lined myself on a third line with two thirds looking room, rather than me sort of standing in the center. So it will make a big difference to your photography and you don't have to follow the rules. Rules are meant to be broken. You can line up the, you know, the horizon straight in the middle if you're after a perfect reflection or something like that. But you really do want to follow some type of uh, system because after all, if I'm, you know, standing in the middle here and there's no looking room either side, it, it tends to be a little bit boring. So it creates interest in your image. A couple of things. Also, when you're shooting, make sure you get down to the ground level. I've seen so many photographers just stand there and take a photo and it's just a nightmare. Um, you want to change your perspective because what that does, it, it introduces some foreground interest into your image as well as you, the sky as well. So you've got two thirds of the foreground and one third of the sky. So play around with that technique as well. Now another great tool for actually composing your image is using the grid lines which are built into most cameras these days and you'll find it's a function you can turn on with your display on the actual screen on the back of the camera. And what it does, it will automatically add those third lines so you can see visually where to line up your image. So remember, it's not only verticals and horizontals that you can line up, you can also line up your diagonals as well. So if you've got a pleasing sort of architectural image or a building that's got a nice beautiful curve on it or a diagonal line, you can put it in sort of half of your, your frame and that's really appealing as well. So look for those things. Also guys, I'll just share some images that I've seen on Google Plus which I really feel sort of show composition in a good light. Um, they're using their third lines beautifully and it's very, very pleasing to the eye. So be sure to check out these photographers in the comments below and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.